Okay, guys, uh, I am in Shmarieta right now. In a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug uh, the other camera because the software is modified and uh, it's so that I cannot really use with a, with a success this program. But this is just to tell you that the date you see right there, this is the date, today was the attack um there, there is a lot a lot a lot for me to say to you about this attack uh this was attack this was really really attack uh this attack on me that gave me three hours of sleep and it is the attack that resulted my falling down literally you know seriously grabbing myself and for the wall and for the doors uh and all right let me just go and plug the other camera that's better this program appears not was not modified so yeah this is marietta here right there um it's a city right there and i'm heading back No, three times, no less, I grabbed myself. I was not capable to cross almost like you see here on the other side of the road. This is how bad it was. I was in between. I thought I'm going to vomit. Um, dizzy as far as dizzy, I was weak. I just collapsed three times down. I, I was gonna go to the kitchen, but I didn't want to. My mom basically to uh, my parents basically to see me in a state of health. I was, and uh, w once I collapsed inside of my room, the second time. I just stopped before the kitchen and I turned towards stairways. I went through the doors and I grabbed myself for the stairways and barely avoided crashing myself down. Uh, somehow sit myself and uh, I was gonna go to the kitchen, you know, to grab something to eat, something. I couldn't do it. This is the thing. I, I stood up and I didn't want to go to the kitchen because I didn't want my mom, father to see me how I was. So I proceeded back toward my room. Uh, the thing is that my body was in heat. I was heated. I thought that I have like, this is basically exactly what they have done to me before already, but not to this degree, I think. Actually, there was one time that was much worse than that, but this time, oh yeah, it was worse than this already. One time they beat me up, like I told you. I had pain in every muscle in my body that the attack, it took me all day just to pass the pain. But this time, I proceeded toward the room and uh, because the way I, I'm telling you I was today, I went inside the mom's room and I lay down and I spent another 20 minutes laying down on the bed, hoping that somehow it's gonna pass me. Uh, spasms, this is like somebody would drill uh, in your in your lower area, in, in, in this area here, as you see, in this, like somebody would drill through, like a, with a drill on both legs. But the thing is that this is Americans, they told me, this is not the case. Some guys told me uh, it's gonna be done with a laser, that's bullshit. It was always the people who did shit involving this stuff.
Yeah, this was a tech. Probably a few thousand microtesla radiation, God knows what the fuck this was, what they used. But the one who used this first was a British military. This is related to the Prince Philip. Prince Philip, father of Prince Charles. In 2005, they started with this shit because the British forces we're using this as a test. It's something I bet Charles or Philip never have gone through. Um, but they don't give a fuck about people being radiated. Uh, and quite frankly, I'm in a state, in a country where if I could, I would have... Uh, this portion of the clip where you cannot hear me and it's pertaining to Ljubljana more than anybody else. Um, they also told me, make sure that your lips can't be read as well. They don't ask me. They do it. Um, it's part of the deal they did with them. I never agreed to it, uh, but nobody asked me about anything. So the shit goes on. I knew immediately about what happened at the torches. That's when I remind myself of Prince Philip. Before the Prince Philip, one of the candles where you sit is the only place uh, it's this local uh, Chimpet that is right next to the torch, it's graveyard. The graveyard is basically where you get water. Uh, it helps with the cancer issues. They were bringing me to graveyards um, for 25 years to drink water. Uh, one of the candles right where you sit also just as I was told the case is going to be under MK Ultra was collapsed um, There was a whole diarrhea. They stressed me under MK Ultra on How I'll be dead. It's a death. You did <clears throat> And loaded to that scenario a uh, variety of uh, all kinds of issues that included uh, how you have to walk far and this and that you know, to clean your body and I don't know. He talked to me bullshit about how far the one go, one guy went and then the other and this and that and they were repeating this over the years. Every here and there and they did this shit. A local police officer, I told him I'm going to go, I don't know how far or whatever. A local police officer, however, told me, they instructed me, don't go far. This already is like 14 kilometers one way. Um, but local police officer told me, don't go any further. This is it. This is the limit. Because this radiation, this kind of shit, this is related to the... Moral bone cancer. This is the worst shit they came up with. The people died because of this shit. Yeah, this is the stuff they came up with. This is the stuff they guaranteed. You're gonna see me, I'm really angry at this point in time. Uh, but that's the kind of stuff that makes me think cautious, really. Yeah, it was done in a such a way so that you would be angry, uh, to anger one. And what they refer to as a toxic, a psychiatrist, local psychiatrist, cops, toxology. Toxology, toxic, toxic. Uh, the thing is that this morning, on October the 24th, 2021, when I slept in another room, I didn't get much sleep. Uh, I, again, I got, but I got about six hours of sleep, somewhat. Uh, and I'm going to tell you that 
as far as the pain, right? There was no cramps, uh, but there was here inside of the muscles. That's interesting. Inside of the muscles, uh, yeah, there were cramps. There were cramps, but that was very light. But it appeared to me as it was inside the muscles as some kind of leftover from yesterday still that I could feel. But um, nothing like yesterday, nothing like yesterday, nothing like yesterday. Prince Andrew was the one who got this weapon. This is definitely a weapon. This is not a poisoning. Bill Clinton had a theory about infection, blood infection. Um, but you know, listen up, my father and my niece's husband, Mitya Weber, had a theory about my father is defibrillators um, for asthma when you use to freshen, uh, to give us so air, you you for the relief for the coughing relief that it's going to be a poison poison chemical poison like he was a chemical poison in a war a military poison that he's going to have stored one inside and when i would go to sleep i was always instructed that whenever total paranoia on that culture whenever you go inside of the room the first thing you do is you open the window then you go out then you go out I was not the only one. Uh, I was the only one who they never drove insane. The people that participated, including American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith, they alone became paranoid. It was explained in a such a way through the people that they targeted that I believe that these people, these test subjects alone, did not know what the fuck went on. Uh, till it all ended, probably. So that's how they got the real feedback. To seal the doors with uh, blankets and shit like this, to cover all the holes inside of the room, because the father would go and squeeze this shit. Then another theory, that's possible. That's very possible because I always got the feedback from my father uh, after every attack however he gave me a feedback laughing basically in my face in the mornings claiming that he was the one who was sick this this was a regular it's all audio recorded stuff but yesterday it was a talk about the death the death of my aunt, the death of my grandfather, and stuff like this between my father and my mother when I came. Um, so there is a more stronger probability, possibility, that he's got something to do with it. Um, something Germans and sisters is going to be the case, but then again I have to say that the Germans insisted on tremendous paranoia in respect to radiation, Ursula von der Leyen did a uh, new entire house about where radiation is, which is an easy thing to do. Uh, oh, why, how the fuck not, with a good sleep, uh, with other people demonstrating you, with using a proper appliance to detect one, uh, you definitely will know where to go. Sleep in a house to avoid one. I mean, this is not a difficult thing to know. That's a piece of cake. You could take me to any house around the world, give me one tour and I would know. Um, or give me appliance and I would give myself a tour and would know. They, uh, this, this was, this was uh, Sergei from Belarus. This, this, this guy was doing a paranoia total crap. Uh, the individual who gave these weapons to Slovenian government was a Prince Andrew because uh, according to Charles to Elizabeth 
I preferred him over anybody and uh, they portrayed him to me as someone that is fighting for me all along, that fought again for me all along. Uh, so for anything the Slovenian government requests, it would go to Slovenian government through him, literally. So he would be like a middleman between me uh, from the British side, from the British hijackers, basically, a throne, a British crown. Terrorists and whomever this British crown have used me as a commodity to earn special interests from. Uh, everything would go through Andrew, I was told. Oh, it's run out everybody, everything. But in this case, definitely this is what the case was because a police officer from Ljubljana. Uh, Near Ljubljana, I think a Grusuple area, just as tall as I am, a skinny guy, uh, like I am right now, was the one who would walk next to me, talk to uh, Andrew, and was asking about stuff and so on, inquiring along others. You know, this is straight related to police and so on. I said very cautious about using language in this video because it was done with so much anger with such an intensity and culture was done that would produce the most uh, effective outburst a government would want uh, to destroy me uh, very violent stuff. I mean, not only brainwash, but brainwash, violent brainwash on top of the violent use of weapon like this. This is this is exactly what it is. It's not, there's no philosophy to it. That's why I'm saying that if it was for me, I would have gone to Ljubljana. I'm telling you straight. This is shit. This is not a human being's. I don't care what anybody says. A cab driver just passed by, went one way, then returned this way to remind me. It's to Plitsa, it's down, I don't know, two kilometers or something, a kilometer and a half, I don't know, this way, back toward my home, to not go any further because it affects bone marrow. Uh, just a bowl, ocular seal. This was attack. I couldn't get more evident um, proof indirectly basically taught about what the fuck just happened today. Uh, you can see the date. You can see now, actually that's it was yesterday. Now you can see the date and time when I'm here. Um, but this is what this is. This is basically what this is. Uh, I don't care about whoever volunteered himself or whatever the fuck. I didn't volunteer myself or anything. These are a preparations. These are a preparations, as I was thought, it's going to be for Africa. About the preparations for Africa, um, Jack Dorsey released this morning news, he told me, if it's going to be this, um, talk about inflation in the US, then you know where we are heading at, Africa, war, Mideast, world war. Three, definitely the biggest one, bigger than two, bigger than World One, bigger than World Two. Um, and Slovenian government told me if you see us buying equipment from Italians, we don't buy. But this is already because we have a deal. They did purchase, they did purchase equipment from Italians, from Americans. Um, they're buying 
they're loading themselves. Uh, Syria and Afghanistan, both, as we saw by the governments, were used first hand information were used for uh, NATO to literally drop Humvees uh, armored vehicles from the planes for which they claim that they just uh, you know that they were destroyed they fall down on the ground and they were destroyed and this and that no fuck no one two maybe yes the rest of it it was done it was given for Ameri uh, for the Russians to get uh, the equipment which can be according to what I was taught technology military assembled like they gave them blueprints they gave them machinery to produce they gave them absolutely everything Afghanistan Syria uh, NATO troops inside American troops remember in particular would run in a parenthesis from the Taliban led by the Russian troops leaving behind none of that kind of stuff that you would use to kill your adversary basically to use to leave equipment behind so that one would try to use and would instead detonate itself and that kind of stuff but literally for them to confiscate and take to uh, to Russia and uh, modernize, uh, prepare itself for uh, colonialism. There will be a war. The Third World War is coming. They were preparing for this a decent amount of time. They were preparing this for over a decade and a half for this, this operation here. But before that, I'm telling you, it was a British, probably a special forces, they used this. Andrew told me, that's right, British special forces used this. They started using this, according to Andrew, to the Prince Andrew, sometimes in like 2000 and something like this, around 2000. Um, there was a Slovenian guy, I don't know who the fuck it was, some crazy lunatic asking if it's anything else, anything else that you need to, we need to learn, anything, anything you do, anything crazy, anything crazy stuff, do, do you have anything else, anything else, and he told me about this, and the next thing you see, they fucked people, they tested people like rabbits basically, and here I am, they fucked me up 28 years of life. Left me a broken spine and with a severe cancer issues. Look at me, what the fuck. Uh, these people all got uh, good employment. They did this shit for employments, for business opportunities. Nobody gave me any kind of business. Nobody, you know what the rule number one was? to keep me out of the job for no less than 28 years with a psychiatry sitting behind my neck eventually since 2012. You get it? That's a big difference, right? Uh, if you go and you volunteer yourself, you want, for whatever reason, maybe, what the heck, maybe to just see what it feels like, um, don't expect other people to take your fucking compassion for it especially when they from the guy that is tortured fuck uh and gestured it's why this guy's complained on the first place uh on how he's gonna see hell how he's gonna see hell when he, your turn comes when you know that's what i was told that's why i i don't take your cries uh, your misfortunes if you suffered them no sorry uh, you did this shit to yourself because you wanted so look at me what time it is and I'm walking around like this well this is a reality this was a serious attack directed energy attack I couldn't get more 
proofs than what I got. Uh, they scanned people later, people that were subjected to this practice. A police officer whose name, of course, I'm not going to tell, uh, and several other people instructed me, don't go any further than this because uh, it does have effect on a bone marrow. This is like ideal distance. Don't go any further. Uh, the people alone that were observers of this bullshit, the police I'm talking about, they were disappointed. The people were disgusted about Mr. Boru Pahar, about Mr. Milan Kusha, about what the fuck is this all about? How the fuck dare you do stuff like this to the people? First of all, how the hell you dare to do the stuff like this? How the fuck you dare to go murder people like this? What the hell is this? What the fuck is going on? You ruined my life, man. You ruined my life, you motherfuckers. Eh? This was not a laser weapon. It was just a radiation. But probably, God knows. I have no idea what it is. I I was, I slept three hours, and strange enough, I felt good. Uh, the thing is that I learned not to even move my fingers on my feet for like an inch or something during the sleep, because as soon as you would move a finger, it would be a series of spasms that would follow. You to move finger, the spasm grabs, and it's just intensifying, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know. This is, I don't know what kind of effect this is gonna have on me as far as cardiovascular exercise. Um, health, I should say, because of severe lack, because of severe deprivation, sleep deprivation, heart is that suffers the most. That's a muscle very important to maintain. Mental health. Like I said, there's nothing humane about these people. This, this is, these are animals. This, this is not more animals. This is actually idiotic to talk about. You know why? Uh, Ursula von der Leyen from European Commission uh, pointed out absolutely everything uh, that included also food on what you are allowed literally to eat. Uh, so for me to finish the video when with Angela Merkel in Germany at Ursula von der Leyen's home residence, Angela Merkel did to me like this dink and asked Ursula, uh, and what are we going to eat? She said. And Ursula von der Leyen answered with a very serious expression on her face. Since I also joined that, what, yes, what are we going to eat? Uh, uh, Angela Merkel, don't you want to know what you want, uh, what, uh, what are we going to eat? And I said, yes, what are we going to eat? And she said, well, everything you're not allowed to eat at your home. And then they both laughed, and that was it. So I think this is the proper way to terminate this video.